All right, guys. Let's uh, let's see if we can get this shit to record pretty decently. Um, this is gonna be a uh, Bloodstalker uh, guide video slash fun. We'll see. Um, just so you guys can kind of check out. My build's not full, uh, fully finished yet, but uh, you can see I'm running uh, Bloodstalker base. So you got the signature. And then I still run Bloodlust because I don't have the talent for Mob of Ravens yet. I don't want to spend the gold for the weapon. Um, Lacerate, it's gemmed. Um, I run Assassinate with the gem. Oh, no, Lacerate's not gemmed. Assassinate's gemmed. And Talon Frenzy for the damage plus immunity. I uh, see I, uh, I run some Lifesteal, although it really makes no difference on this build. Uh, that's probably going to get switch to another life gem once uh, they let us do double up on gems. I run haste and 7.5 bonus targeted damage. That's just the leftover rune. I'll probably change that to just melee. Uh, maybe even lose the haste. I'm not sure. Maybe go like a melee damage and a melee damage per level rune. Here we're going assassinate that deals damage based on total health. Uh, that way you don't have to wait until it's 50%, and if you stay up at full life as a Bloodstalker, that's pretty easy. Your Assassinates can hit for 12, 1300, no problem. Um, as for Talents, we do Cursed Strike so that when I mark it, everybody who shoots it heals me, including my Mob of Ravens once I use that. Uh, this is a shit uh, piece of gear. I need to replace this for the one that gives me an extra Raven, but uh, I, I haven't had that one drop yet. Here we have Lacerate, gives two stacks of bleeds. That's really good. It uh, really increases the DPS. And then here we have basic attacks are echoed. I just use that because, like I said, the weapon um, is 1,200 gold, or I think, yeah, something like that. And it, uh, the one that makes your mob of ravens permanent, that's probably the, uh, the best one to have. Uh, let's see. What would be the other gem that we can take here equipment gems filter shadow lacerate bonus stand now we want to be able to lacerate as much as we can we don't really care about their their damage assassin health based damage that's the good one um let's see death through dagger talon frenzy cooldown that might be good but i mean it lowering the cooldown on that just gives me more immunity and ambush i don't i don't have that skill so yeah i think for for prismatic gems i think we're we're solid let's exit out of here take this map we have a chrono chrono nighthawk ah oh, the nighthawk's gonna be annoying He's going to juggle, and I'm going to miss melee attacks because he's juggling. We'll see. We'll see if the Nighthawk knows what he's doing. But yeah, the idea in, in this build, guys, is, is uh, you're, a, you're a tank. I don't have the taunt, but I mean, you don't, you don't really need a taunt, I guess. Uh, I do a lot of damage, so the bosses kind of really just want me to uh, want to attack me. We uh, we just put a put up a lacerate and then mark it. We go up to like 90% or 70% uh, life steal, and then just assassinate. I think assassinate heals us for like 680, and uh, and then just, yeah, just do talon frenzy. That also heals us when we're doing it. And we go immune, so we don't take any more damage. Uh, it's just a it's just a really good sustained DPS uh, build that that can face tank anything and uh and you just yeah just heal up off lifesteal uh it's loading a little bit better now that i put it on my solid state but still not great the game just the, the game just runs really badly on uh especially like better systems uh he has the black ninja outfit i do not want to do that the white ninja outfit looks a lot better. 
We think he'll make it through. Whoa, how did he switch off it? I didn't know you could do that. It's already too late. I think Lucius spared me because he wants to send the Academy a message. I think he thinks he's the good guy in all this. Don't you know the good guys always win? He's causing that by messing with the man anchors. It's 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 worse than Kia this time. It's it's catastrophic. I wish we could have looked at the Nighthawks build. I didn't see what he's actually gonna run. It won't be. I promise. Where's the elite? Yeah, there he goes. And he's juggling the elites. Yeah, it's annoying. Yeah, it's really hard to life steal off of this guy juggling all the elites. Be careful. Damage from the breach could cause those buildings to collapse. Going by population density alone. Where's the elite? We're looking at tens of thousands. Below six figures. Yes. They're all
Yeah, this Nighthawk's super fucking annoying. He's like having everybody's damage. There we go. Julia, all those people. I mean, how can yeah, it's running a lot better now? Doing is right. On the um, uh, all right, good. He his right mind. The things he's bringing over here, they don't is there any elite coming? He said this was our fault, that we pushed him so far that he had to cause this breach. Well, that's a bunch of them, isn't it? You see, it's the one that's in these mana anchors. This is on him. Just, if 
we had an attack, Tokyo wouldn't be like this. All those people would still be alive. If we do nothing, this could happen to the whole world. History shows us what happens when men like Lucius Solomon are stopped. I get it. I just... It's hard. Not to feel responsible for... Yeah, so what makes it hard is when he when he juggles those big ass elites, you're right underneath them and you can't jump up in order to And so they'll their their thing will block you as you try to jump up in order to to get into aerial combat, and so that's the kind of the biggest issue. I'm at 49% alt. Maybe I'll get one for the boss. Time to face tank. This is what this this class does. Ah, I needed to avoid that. That kills my DPS. Blood stalker. I get the debuffer, really? I don't understand why they would give you that. Like this one's got no th nothing on it. I get the debuffer. What did I get? Damn it. Still still missing that piece of gear. Okay, 83 and 20k. I mean, that's that's pretty good. Usually, I can pop 100 and get like 25k healing, but like I said, jugglers are hard to uh, to play with. And man, that music was loud. So I will, uh, I will check back in, maybe make another video once I come, kind of complete the build, at least when I start using, uh, like, Mob of Ravens for my, for my ult. Uh, right now that, that Lifesteal haste one's kind of just funny. Um, play solo, complete, yeah, I don't like playing as VD, I don't have the gear for it yet. So, uh, alright guys, hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, the, the Bloodstalker video. Uh, I might make a... Uh, Shadow Blade video, just because I think, I literally think Shadow Blade is the funnest class to play. Um, the way the way it works and the way you can, uh, it's kind of high risk, high reward, especially if you have no healers in the group. It's uh, it's really fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, the vids. Um, feel free to to try out this build. You'll uh, you'll like it. And if anything, at least at adept level, it's 100% pure like. Button smash, face tank, no skill, easy. You can at least uh, grind up, you know, gold or something doing this because you don't. You're not dependent on a healer. You're not dependent on a damage. You can just kind of go in and even solo out all the content. So, um, yeah. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this. I am out. Uh, catch me uh, in my other videos on the uh, the YouTube channel. Sometimes I'm on Twitch, but not for this game. So, peace, guys.